hello friends welcome to another video of quantum mechanics okay in the previous video of quantum mechanics we have already discussed about uh, 1d infinite square well potential uh, which is uh, which was asymmetric but in this uh, in this video we will discuss 1d infinite square well potential which is symmetric okay not asymmetric this will this gonna be symmetric and the link of the previous video is provided in the description box if you haven't watched that before you watch this video please go through that video then it it will help you to understand this topic so now let us start our topic suppose we have infinite uh, potential square well and uh, which is symmetric so this uh, length of this box is suppose a and that's why and uh, let us consider the origin is here x is equal to 0 and this point is x is equal to 0 so here x is equal to a by 2 and here it is x is equal to minus a by 2 so it is symmetric okay so length of each part is a by 2 that means isn't it so it is symmetric so now potential within this range in inside this box is uh, zero and outside this box infinity okay so in the region uh, where x is greater than minus a by 2 and less than plus a by 2 the potential is zero and and outside the box where x is less than my equal to minus a by 2 and x is greater than equal to plus a by 2 this this function psi here it is 0 okay so Schrodinger time uh, time independent uh, equation uh, if the potential inside the box is 0 then the Schrodinger time independent equation will be as is or one di Schrodinger time sorry time independent equation will be given by minus h squared square by twice m second order derivative psi dx square so e psi so here remember as b of x is equal to zero so this uh, plus b psi term is missing that's why because it's going to be equal to zero so hope you have understood this now it can be simplified as let me write here it's called the page okay so this is going to be second derivative second order derivative of psi with respect to x uh, then so twice m plus twice m by a square square e psi is equal to zero so now let us consider this term as k square so then this equation gonna be equal to sorry yeah it gonna be second order derivative of psi with respect to x plus sorry it's gonna be k square e psi is equal to zero where so let me take this one as uh, equation number one so let it be equation number one where where k is equal to root over twice m by h square square so let it be equation number two suppose it let us consider it is equation number two now here we will get the boundary conditions uh, x is equal to minus a by two and x is equal to a by two so here you see uh, this is uh, simple harmonic oscillation equation so its solution will be solution of equation one is uh, should be of this form uh, psi of x is equal to a sine k x plus b sorry b cos k x and where a and b are nothing but constant they are constants and let it be equation number suppose three so this is suppose equation number three now if you apply the boundary conditions at the boundary uh, when x is equal to minus a by two and x is equal to a by two in both cases psi of minus a by two 
and psi of plus a by 2 both going to be equal to 0 so hope you have understood this so now if so then from 3 from equation number 3 uh, we can write if you apply the first uh, boundary condition so this is going to be equal to 0 and if you put here minus a by 2 then our equation is going to be minus a sine k a by 2 plus b b as now you see cos minus theta is cos theta so that's why it's remain positive b cos k a by 2 that's going to be equal to 0 and uh, this is suppose equation number 4 this is suppose equation number 4 and and if you apply this condition at x is equal to a by 2 then then what will you get then positive sign k a by 2 plus b cos k a by 2 is equal to 0 so let it be equation number 5 so if you solve these two equations uh, if you add these two equations uh, equation number 4 plus equation number 5 adding these two these two terms will be cancelled out uh, as one is positive and another is negative so then we will get 2b cos k a by 2 is equal to 0 and if you subtract uh, this uh, four, if you do 4 minus 5 if you subtract 5 from 4 then you will get minus 2a sine k a by 2 is equal to 0 which implies a sine k a by 2 is equal to 0 so here in these two cases remember uh, we cannot take we can't take a and b is equal to uh, we cannot take a and b as zero okay because if you take this to zero then uh, we will get uh, energy that's going to be equal to zero okay so here you see now how to find a value of uh, a and b so uh, before that uh, we find the value of a and b so from this condition what you gonna have so from this we will get cos k a by 2 that's equal to 0 and we know that cos twice n plus 1 into pi by 2 that's equal to 0 okay so let us take this whole thing as single n so twice n plus 1 it is a form of odd number isn't it where n is if n is equal to here if n is equal to 0 1 2 so on then this twice n plus 1 is odd number okay so instead of writing this manner so let us write uh, uh, so here k a by 2 is equal to twice n plus 1 uh, pi by 2 so instead of writing twice n plus 1 let us consider that n itself is an odd number so let it be suppose 1 3 5 and so on so so let it be an odd number okay so wait so let us suppose k a by 2 is equal to n pi by 2 so let me uh, write here n this to understand the difference okay this n and this n so if you put 0 then you will get if you put n this equal to 0 then you will get n equal to 1 if you put 1 then you will get 3 if, if you put 2 then you will get 5 okay and so on so where n is nothing but a odd number okay uh, so that means 1 3 5 and so on so hope you have understood this now uh, here you see from this part a sine k a by 2 so again here we can write and sine k a by 2 is equal to 0 so here what we will get in this case uh, we know sine n pi 
is equal to 0 where n is again 0 1 2 and so on so so then uh, here k a will be twice n pi let uh, let us take this one also as n this okay and this so then you will get this so 2 into n this 2 into something is even number isn't it uh, if n is a whole number and this is a whole number so let us take uh, that k a this thing is equal to again n pi where n is even which is uh, one uh, sorry not one two four six so on so here we cannot take n is equal to zero okay so remember n cannot be zero here so it is even number okay so from uh, so uh, sorry i have so this is this is what we have got okay so actually in this case uh, here if you see here these two these two cancel we will get here also k is equal to k a is equal to n pi so k a is equal to n pi isn't it so if you use this relation here you can see <coughs> if you use this relation here then in equation number two from equation number two implies that equation two will imply that uh, putting the value of k then you will get energy e is equal to uh, n square pi square a square square by twice n a square doesn't matter what is the uh, sorry what is the, the value of n it is odd or even uh, you will get this expression so hope you have understood this uh, how to get the energy expression so now so in the last video that uh, we have already discussed how to find the uh, you know uh, how to normalize the wave function i have already shown to find uh, the value of a similarly if you normalize this uh, function uh, if you take uh, this if you normalize this and these functions then that means if you apply the normalized condition uh, here our limit will be minus a to uh, minus a by 2 to plus a by 2 uh, so x dx then is equal to 1 then you will get the value of b and a both equal to root over 2 by a okay so you will get this so as i have already shown in the last video uh, the link is uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, uh, shown in the i button so you you may go through that or a, a given in the description box also so how to find the no value of a in the same manner you can find the value of b also so that's why i'm not gonna repeat that part again uh, because video gonna be very long if we do so same part again okay so now here you see as we know that value of a and b is this and we have already got the energy expression so our uh, final uh, wave function will be uh, psi n of x will be root over 2 a cos n pi x by a uh, for for n is odd and psi n x root 2 by a sin n pi x by a for n even if n is even okay so hope you have understood this so now and as we have already discussed in the last video so how to draw the graph if you draw the graph then you will get a graph of this kind so x and this is uh, minus a by 2 and this is here 0 this is the midpoint a by 2 so you will get such kind of graph this is for n is equal to 1 first uh, first uh, ground state here so in the first exercise x state so we will get this kind of graph so hope you have understood if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button and share with your friends and Help me to grow that channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe that channel. Thank you for watching.